Good morning, everyone. How are you doing today? So one of the things I am trying to do on my channel is visit other larger YouTube channels. Really want to see what, you know, what I consider the professionals are doing. And uh, thank you for all the recommendations. One of the recommendations was to visit, visit a YouTube channel called Silver Report Uncut. Uh, I don't know if uh, he does these videos the same way every time, uh, but the video I saw called Stock Market, Retail Favorites, Puke as Jaws Snap Shut, Jobs Data Exposed. So that was the video I saw. Uh, and first and foremost, congratulate the gentleman. He, uh, I think he treats it more like a podcast. Uh, he has essentially what I'll call a thumbnail, because I'm not sure what else to call it, sort of on the screen. Uh, which he uses for the video, uh, and this one called the Jaws, uh, what did he call it, Jaws Snapshot, basically showing stocks in the 10-year, kind of collapsing together, hence the graph. Uh, so very um, kind of charts-oriented. Uh, he, then he goes into kind of the second half of the video, uh, the jobs data, and he brings up a couple of different articles through it. So it's never him, the individual, and again, I don't know if that's all the time or just maybe the video I saw. So again, just another way to do YouTube videos. I thought it was eye-opening. Second, I thought he uh, he's clearly done this before. Very polished, delivered, uh, not, um, he, he's clearly prepared for it. Not live like this, this is live, right? I'm not editing this at all just because it's easier to put out there. Uh, but I thought that was pretty good. You know, when, when I saw the video, I, when it ended, I was uncomfortable. And frankly, that could be on purpose, right? You don't always have to leave the viewer happy-go-lucky and, you know, like you just saw, a, you know, boy, boy gets girl, boy loses girl, boy gets girl back, right? You don't have to leave on a high. Strike it on an emotion, and if the emotion's fear, if the, you know, emotion is uncomfortable, that's a fair outcome, Right? Uh, and, and again, I'm not saying Silver Uncut does, Silver Report Uncut, let's be clear, does that all the time. It was just what I was left with this one video. And I sat there after I watched it. And I had to ask myself, do, could I do that? Yeah, sure. There's plenty of things going on with money, with investing, with real estate, where I could put videos where the where the video kind of tails into making the viewer uncomfortable. So A, yes, I could do it. And then I asked myself, would I ever do that? And the answer is hell no. Uh, that's not who I am. Uh, I do believe in individual opportunities. Uh, you know, I was, I came from nothing. Uh, I was married at 19, barely 19 also. It wasn't like I was almost 20. I was barely 19. Uh, so, you know, I know what personal choices mean and picking yourself up when hard choices are made and owning those choices and moving forward. Uh, I know what it means to waste an entire decade of your life doing stupid things. Um, so I believe in personal responsibility. I believe everyone in this great country and what makes America great has the ability to make individual choices, sacrifice, work hard in the short term for a better life. You may not get financial freedom. You may not be, you know, become a millionaire, but your life will be better if you choose to work and sacrifice. So I'm never going to create videos where the end result is I want you to feel worse. That's, again, that's a valid avenue to go. Uh, again, I do not, for all I know, this is the one video. And maybe it's just me. Maybe most people watch this video and they're like, no, I'm good. I'm excited. That's not what I felt. Uh, some things in there he talked about. Uh, he basically picked apart things. And at least in this video, he didn't give any action of do this, do that. Right? He picked apart the AD, the private payroll ADP report from Wednesday. Uh, he talked about the ugly truths in unemployment. He talks about the fallacy of uh, seasonal adjusted. He talked about California being up and, and just everything was bad, 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 bad. Uh, the economy is broken. The economy is cooked. It's on life support. It's a zombie. I mean, just really, I don't know what else to say. Negative, scare test, 
tactics. Then he goes on to, it's always they, 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 they. They make it easy to borrow money. They make it easy to live paycheck to paycheck. They do this, they do that. Uh, banks are evil. Throw them out of the country. Really? Banks are evil. Really? Okay. Right. Uh, okay. Um, come on. Uh, and then he, do then he takes on uh, Jerome Powell, uh, takes on BlackRock. Now, I'm not here to say that the, the financial institutions are freaking, you know, saintly. No, not at all. But we're in a consumer-based economy where debt is really currency. So to turn that off would be foolish. Uh, yeah, this, and, and, and I'm guessing the end result of this only because of the title of the YouTube channel, The Sil Silver Report Uncut, is he is a commodities bull. And I'm guessing silver based on the title, but I'm gonna guess there's gold involved there. Um, really nothing else in the, the video. It was 12 minutes, I think. He didn't tell me to do anything other than get silver and buy guns. That was kind of the end result. So uh, didn't wasn't um, again. He does a very good job. I like how he did it. He shows that you can do YouTube different ways. You don't have to have your face on the screen. So again, I applaud that. It's another way of doing it. Could be fun to try that for sure. Uh, I liked his. I liked how he handled it. He did have a story to tell. I was just left uncomfortable at the end. That again is a, that is absolutely an acceptable outcome. Delivering content where the consumer is left uncomfortable is one way to do it. Absolutely. And frankly, it's probably the better way to do it. People run away from fear. They, they're, when they're scared, they, they take a lot more action. So if the end result is I want to make you afraid or concerned or scared, and then I want to do this or that for you, I get it. I could just, I could just never do that. So I do find it interesting also that a lot of, a lot of channels have their kind of bias where the answer is always silver. No matter what's going on in the world, silver, silver is the answer. Gold is the answer for decades, right? The last 25 years, the answer has been silver. The answer has been Bitcoin the last 10 years. Well, no, it hasn't. It does have its window of time where it is a great option, but it's not always the right answer. Just like real estate isn't always the right answer. If you read our story, single family homes were great until they weren't. And if you read our story, apartments were great until they weren't. I don't think there's any financial investment that is always the right answer. Maybe I'm wrong, you know, but again, thank you for the recommendation. Silver Report Uncut was very eye-opening. I really did feel uncomfortable when that, uh, when that video finished. I, I sat there and was like, wow, what am I going to do with this feeling? So again, all right, everybody, take care of yourself. I got a couple more uh, that I will do, and that is uh, interesting stuff. All right, everybody. Take care. Bye.